Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 6 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to finish off the um, kitchen right here. So now we're, we can delete this now. And then once we delete, we'll be able to add in our uh, floors. So let's go to architecture and click on floor. And then from here, we could edit type, duplicate. And then we could put this one as floor number one. And then OK. Edit. And the thickness should be around 200 only. And then here, let's put in grass first. So let's type in grass. And then let's add grass at the top. Apply. And then OK. OK. And then OK. So we're going to add grass around this area. And then we can even add in a pool later on if we want. But for now, let's add in the grass. So we're going to add the floor around here up to here. So I'm just going to align it from this wall. I'm still thinking if we should add grass here as well. But what we could do is... Um, we could finalize it, everything once we add this one. So let's um, add this for now and keep on adding different um, floors. So here is a gla uh, grass floor. Click on uh, floor again, edit type, duplicate. And we want another floor but for the deck so for the deck we need wood and then we're just going to add something like let's add pine so this will be the area for the deck and then let's add to make it faster, we could just add it like that. Trim. Delete this one. And we could delete this one. And then TR again. So this will be our deck area. Click finish. And then here, let's add in another floor. This will be floor number three. And then from here, let's add it. And then let's change the material to something different. We could add in some stone. No, we're, we're not going to use stone. Let's check miscellaneous. We have slab here. Let's use this one, slab. Press OK and then OK. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to add in some design like that. And then around that, we're going to add pebbles. So this will be the walking area for the side here. And then let's maintain the distance from here. So let's make this one 1600. And then for the depth, 700 will be good. And then let's move it one, this one in the middle like so. After that, we could just use copy. And then keep on adding every probably... every 1000 so let's just maintain every 1000 for the floor okay. 
and then here we could just move this one from this so that once they open they will be able to get it from there so copy and then here we have something overlapping so what we're gonna do here is we're just going to place something like that around 400 and then that's good I like that so click on finish and then let's add in another floor like the pebbles around it so edit duplicate four and then the materials we need some pebble hopefully we have so we don't have so we're just going to add something that is we have here but we could once we go to uh, toy motion we could um, add the pebbles there instead so here we're just let's use this for now just to represent that so here that's okay okay rectangle again and then here we just need to do the same thing CO copy from the corner and then here let's just push this one like that so for here we could just delete this and then we could just add this one like so and then once you finish you can just click finish right there and then with that we could just increase this offset to the level so we could increase it by just a couple of millimeters so 20 will be good enough and as you can see we're good we have grass here for now we could add in some pool later on uh, let's insert some tables right here out, outside so let's go to furniture and then table and then we could add something table with round chair Press OK. CM. So let's insert it again. With round chair. And then CM. We could add it right here. And then maybe they have a small dimension. So those chairs right there and then add chairs on this side something like that would be good and then some tables right there and then just pull this back oops so just do this and then pull it back like that so you have some space and we have something like that you could even put some barbecue grill here that will look nice and then the floors for the um, garage is different as well so we need to differentiate all those stuff so that we're good so edit duplicate this will be floor number five for the garage it should be concrete so let's add in a concrete 
finish. And then maybe we could just add this one. Click apply, okay. And then here we could just add it from here. So we're good here. And then now we need something around here. And then at the back is different as well. This one will be stone. That's why I, I, I said earlier that we should be use stone because stone is something that we usually add for the first floor. So now let's click on floor again. Edit, duplicate, floor number six now. This one will be stone. Let's go down here, click on stone, and let's add something, this one for now. Okay, okay, and then now let's add a stone. Let's use pick line, and let's go around the perimeter. And then the perimeter right here. And then the entrance. Sorry, I made a mistake of adding it in the interior wall it should be exterior wall and then delete this and then now we should trim and extend Don't worry if we miss anything, it will let us know if we do. Okay, so now click finish. So we're good with that. And then now on only on this spot now, maybe concrete as well here. So floor, edit type, duplicate. Floor number seven, and then, like I said, will be concrete. Let's use this. And use rectangle. Just to go around and then finish. For this one, I think it's overlapping on this spot, but I don't worry about that. So that would be fine. I want to see it in 3D. So it looks like everything is good. Uh, we're probably going to add a pole right here. So that will be fine. So let's do it now. I'm going to select this one. So edit boundary. So from this, we could make our pull size. Let's move it a bit at the back like that. So once we create this, it will be the opening of the pole. So if we go to 3D, it's now open. Next thing is we're going to add walls around. And then we're going to from first floor to ground floor. We don't need to show a deep because we could um, uh, change it from twin motion. So now I'm going to create a wall. 
this one edit type duplicate this will be um, pull wall press ok edit and then the material most of the time is tiles so let's go to a tile and then here we don't have enough but we could just use mosaic click apply ok and then ok and then ok now base should be from ground floor up to first floor and then use this I'm gonna add it like that for now so that we could just align it AL on the exterior of the wall look at it at 3D select that let's change this again base is ground floor up to first floor click apply now it's just small like that but that's fine we don't need to make this too complicated and then now what I'm gonna use is we could use floor and then edit type duplicate this will be floor number eight but the material should be the same one as we did so we use tile it was mosaic gray we already have it here apply okay and then okay this will be floor for the ground so now we're just going to add a floor for that and then we change the level so now it will look like this we have a floor and then for the water we need to add that one as well so go to first floor and then here I'm gonna use model in place generic model and then press OK extrusion it will be water so type in water there and then we could use this apply ok and then the reason that I'm using generic model here so that we could change the height of the water so click that finish and then now go to 3d again and then select that and then we could just manipulate the height of the water so we could just pull it down like so we could high move it down more and as you can see we can uh, show it like that now okay so that's good so now we have our pull and we could add in the full uh, um, ladder here later on so thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below